Hey brothers and sisters in the Lord, um, happy new year. I hope everyone is having a wonderful new year and I pray that the Lord um, continues to um, strengthen your faith and to uh, make you grow in the knowledge of him. Um, and I pray that he gives you the desires of your heart. But I just wanted to make this quick video. <clears throat> um, I've been seeing this often these days, more these days. And um, it's nothing new. It's, it's people saying that grace is a license to sin. And um, I got told that I um, didn't teach the fear of the Lord. Okay, first of all, you see, even Paul talked about how if he was a law preacher, then people would have esteemed him more. Okay? But the fact that, you know, we preach grace, it repels a lot of people, um, self-righteous people. They don't like that. They think that we're teaching them that they could just go out and do whatever the hell they want to do. But the reality is you can go out and do whatever the hell you want to do. I mean, you would just have to pay for it um, in your flesh and, you know, even in eternity because you'll probably miss out on rewards. Okay, but that's due to you not growing in grace. Um, that has nothing to do with the fact that you have grace. I mean, you're supposed to grow in it. It's law. It's condemnation that strengthens sin. It's not grace. Grace helps you say no to sin. And the more you grow in grace, the more you grow in the knowledge of the Lord and his love for you, the more you focus on his love for you, the better off you are. But the thing is, people want to, you know, look at their flesh. They want to trust in their flesh. They don't trust in the Lord. You know? Jesus died for you. You can't do anything to earn salvation. He is Savior. You have nothing to do with your salvation. Just because somebody is saved doesn't automatically mean that they're going to do all the things that they're supposed to do. Some of them never will. Why? Because people don't grow in grace. They don't grow in grace. You know, um... People, um, you know, think that law preaching is, is gonna, you know, really straighten somebody out. And it's like, how? Because the thing is, people already know the law. People already know that ad uh, adultery is a sin. People already know stealing is a sin. Everyone knows that. Even the secular world knows that. Does that mean that it's going to get better? You know, does that mean that they're not going to do it? Absolutely not. So the fact that I don't get on here and talk about law, you know, it, it doesn't mean that I'm encouraging people to go out and sin more or I'm telling them that sin is okay for crying out loud. Like we need a savior. Jesus had to come down and die for our sins. So, I don't know what sense it would make for me to just go out and tell people, oh, yeah, sin is okay. Like, I know it's not okay. Everyone knows it's not okay. It's not about it being okay. It's just a part of your nature. That's it. It's not okay to get old. It's not okay to get sick. Death is not okay. But these are the things that we have to face because of sin because of our fallen nature 
The reason why we have any life in us, the reason why we have anything incorruptible is because of what Jesus did on the cross. And I won't talk about physical life because physical life can get short, get cut short. You know, um, it is short. So people just need to get this through their um, thick, uh, self-righteous skulls. That no one is teaching a license to sin just because we talk about grace constantly. Grace is what breaks all the chains. Grace is what, grace is, is Jesus literally, like my sister said yesterday in her video. It's literally Jesus. That's who he is. Grace. He died for the thieves. He died for the prostitutes. He died for the strippers. Drug dealers. Junkies. He died for all of them. Regardless if they stay in that state or they change, his blood is still sufficient. His grace is sufficient. He alone is sufficient. You don't need law. What do you think all other, what do you think religion consists of? Law keeping. How can I get right with God? What can I do in my flesh to get right with God? That's what religion is about. But Christianity, being a Christian, being a believer, is about receiving from God. It's about receiving. It's not about giving. We're already complete in Christ. There's no more we need to give God. We just need to grow in grace. That's what we all should be doing. But you see, people are so focused on the milk, you know, and they, and they think they can move on to the meat, but they can't because they're not really, you know, they're not really, um, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but people, people haven't grown in the milk, therefore they can't move on to the meat. But it's like people, you know, they think they've gotten a hold of the meat. They think they know what the meat is. So I just wanted to make this video, this quick video. I hope everyone has a wonderful new year. Um, and anyone who tells you you have to keep the law or you have to make Jesus the Lord of your life, you know, especially people who are new to the faith, please um, find it. Pray for God to have you cut those people off because they are lying to you. There's nothing you can do in your flesh to earn favor with God, for God to save you. He sent his only begotten son to die for your sins, to save you. And Jesus alone is Savior. Not the law, not, not anything, not anybody else, just Jesus. So... Um, be blessed, you guys. Love y'all.